Hi friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to arrange data table columns, how to change the column positions in data table in UiPath using three ways. First, using filter data table. Second, using invoke method and third, using invoke code using VB expression. Okay, so first we'll start with filter data table. So let's see this is the excel file this is the data we have we have column a to g first name last name company name role in company address email and phone number now i want to change the position of these three columns address email and phone number and this should be here c d and e and then this should be f and g like this so this is our final this would be our final output after a and b this should be our final output so how can we do that so let me show you come to this studio and then we'll take here excel application scope this i'm going to use so that i can show you while running so in excel application scope i will click on that i will select this excel file this is example now go to properties and then uncheck this creative not exist now take here read range this activity we are going to use to read this data so we are going to read this seat one data this one we will store this in output dt underscore employee data table okay this one we have created this one a variable now after reading we need to use filter data table now you must be wondering how we can change the column position using filter data table you can see here in this data table will pass this data table dt employee same data table will pass in the output now we'll click on configure filter now we have two tabs one is filter rows second output columns so in the filter rows do not do anything just go to output columns and click on keep okay now here you need to enter all these column names in a sequence which you want so first i need first name so i will enter here second column i need last name so i will enter here third i need in a sequence phone number so you see in this one we have this first name last name and this phone number is in g column but we are going to pass the only column name and automatically it will set the uh, based on this this order if we'll put this here phone number here so it will be in the third position like here in the excel file it will be same like this right so same as your requirement you can add this column names now click on ok now we'll take here one right range activity right range go to properties check this checkbox add headers and put here dt underscore employee data table now what will happen this will read this data and then using filter data table we are going to set the column names and all the data will be set based on this column names okay and then let's run this one okay so you can see here in seat one itself we have changed the data first name last name phone number email address company name role in company same as this first name last name phone number email address now the second way I'm going to show you using invoke method. Okay, so just let me uh, change the sequence. Now, this time I will write to this C3. Let me put this in a sequence. This is for using, let me copy and move this here. Now, we'll take one more sequence, and this time we are going to use invoke method 
using invoke met method. Now we will copy the same uh, excel application and rearrange I range everything. Let me disable this. Okay, so, we have commented out the first one, second using invoke method. Same way using appli application scope, we are going to uh, using read range, we are going to read the data and then now this time we will remove this one and we will select invoke method. In invoke method, we are going to use a one method name that is called set ordinal. Set ordinal is a method which is used to change or set the ordinal, ordinal means set the position of the column based on the given index, based on the given column index. Okay. So, we will write here set ordinal. Now, in the target object, we have to write here one expression, your data table dot columns of name as a string, you can see name as a string. So, we need to enter the column names which we want to change. Okay. So, I want to change this one, let me show you. I want to change this uh, phone number. So, I will take this name and we need to write here. Okay. So, only one parameter, one expression, one column name we can write here in this invoke method. Now, go to parameters. In the properties, you can see parameters. Click on that. Click on this and we will pass here as an integer, in argument integer and here we need to pass the index number of that column where we want to set that. So, this column we are going to change here. So, we need to take the index number like 0, 1, 2. So, here we want to set this column. So, we will put here 2 and click OK. Now, we need to also change for this email and then address. So, we will take three times same invoke method. Here we will change for email and change the parameter of column index. So, this one we want here uh, uh, next to this uh, phone number. So, 0, 1, 2, 3. So, this will be 3. Now, for this one, we are going to change for address. We are also going to change address. Okay. Now, this time the parameter we want here like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this would be here in the E. So, it will be 4. So, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So, we have change here now using in invoke method. Now, here I am going to write here C3. So, this data will be written to C3 now. Save this and let us run this now. So, it will take this data and it will create a C3 and write these data there. Okay, it worked. Now, you can see first column is first name, last name and then phone number, then email address and then address and then company and then role in company. So, this one we did using invoke method using set ordinal method. Now, the third one, now why we are, I am going to show you the third way to do this because here if we need to change three column sequence, then we have to take invoke methods three times and we have to pass in each invoke method. Let us say I have a list of column names and I want to change that column sequence. So, it will be very difficult to like take one by one multiple uh, invoke method. I am going to show you third way using invoke code. So, let me copy this and let me take a sequence and this time I will say using invoke code and I am going to use this same. Let me first uh, disable this. This is not required now. The third one is using invoke code. 
So we'll be using same Excel application scope and read range so that it can read this data from seat one. And let me delete this and delete this invoke code now, invoke method now. Okay, now we are going to use here invoke code here. Using invoke code, we are going to use vb.net language and then we'll write a code to change the sequence of the required columns. Okay, so our requirement is that we need to change for phone number, email and then address, right. We will create, go to edit arguments, we will create one arguments here. We need to pass inside this code. So, I will write here in underscore str array underscore, this will be column names, okay. Change the type to array of string and in curly braces, we will pass all the column names in this array. So, we will take this phone number, we will paste here, comma, we need this email. So, next to this, we will add here, comma, third one we need as a address. Copy this. So currently we have three column names for which we want to change the column sequence. Okay. If you have multiple column names, you have to put in this array list. Second, we need a as a parameter as a column sequence to which you want to change. So let's say you want to change this uh, column sequence to here. So it will be a uh, index 0, 1, 2. So we will need 2, 3 and 4, right? So we'll create one more array in underscore integer int array underscore. This will be column index, okay? And this time this will be array of integer, system dot integer. Let me delete this. And then same way we will do curly braces and then 2, 3 and then 4, okay. Three, three columns then 3 positions. If you have multiple then based on that you have to change the column index position, okay. And then we have to also pass this argument, uh, this data table as an argument and same will get the output. So, I will write here I O underscore. You will understand this one once I will go inside this invoke code where we will write the code IO underscore DT underscore employee data and then we will change this direction to in and out. The same data table will get inside and after updating, after changing the column sequence, column uh, position, we will again get the same data table out from this invoke code. Okay, and this will be a system dot data dot data table. Now here we will store this in a dt dot employee the same dt employee data table. Okay, three parameters we are passing here. One as a array of a string column names, all the column names here, and integer array of column indexes. This one, and then this data table. Okay, now click OK. Now we click on edit code. Here we are going to write vb.net code to change the column sequence and here also we will use set ordinal. Okay. So this time we are going to use do while loop. So we will first take here dim column count as a integer, integer and then we will write do while loop. So, do and then here we will pass i o underscore. So, what we are going to pass here let me show you. Let me take a notepad here. So, this will be a like data table, your data table dot columns of columns of your column name. So, let us say I want to change phone number, right? 
dot set ordinal set ordinal of what is the ordinal index so let's say 2 okay so this one we need to write in our code so how we'll write here so you can see data table so we are getting as a parameter uh, arguments io dt underscore employee data dot columns okay columns of i uh, name as a string now how we can get the name as a string the first name one by one will get all the names right so first we need column name based on the parameter based on the arguments value okay so here we'll write int sorry we'll write in underscore str array underscore column names of if you write 0 so it will always give us the first value from that array so currently we are not going to hard code we are going to take the value from here column count so we will write here column count and then so it will be first time column count equal to 0 so what I am going to do I am going to pass here a default value 0 first time it will be column count as integer equal to 0 so here it will be passed as a 0 ok so array of 0 so array of 0 will give us the first value from the array and then dot to string because it accepts only a string value name as a string you saw that right here name as a string so data table dot columns of array of this column count dot to string now dot and then here dot set ordinal open close bracket and then here we need ordinal as an integer okay so this time we'll take the integer value from array again so this will be in underscore integer of array this column index open close bracket and then again we'll take same column count which we have passed here column count and we are not going to pass here a uh, string because this will take only as an integer now go to next and then we'll after setting because using this VB expression it will set the column ordinal set the column column position now we are going to increase the column count so column count equal to equal to column count plus 1 okay so this time it will be 0 plus 1 so it will be 1 now we will write here loop while open and then close bracket and then we will say loop while column count is less than column count is less than the total the total column names count it, it means this add account so we'll write here in underscore str array underscore column names dot c o u n t so i want to loop through this only till this data so we have only three so it will only loop through three times only if we have five so it will loop five times okay so let me edit this so column count less than this so what will happen first time it will zero then it will come here it will change the uh, ordinal based on this zero count it will take the data the first one that phone number and the index will be two now the column count plus one so it will one now one is less than three because this uh, add account is 3 phone number email and address 3 so 1 is less than 3 yes it will come here again and then this time it will be 1 so it will take the first data from array it will be a email 
and here it will 3 it will change the column position and then this time it will 2 now loop while 2 is less than 3 yes it will come here this time it will take second uh, like third one it will be address and here 4 number 4 the column index 4 and then it will increase that so 2 plus 1 3 3 less than 3 no it will exit from this loop right so we are going to use this code click ok if you want you can change you can add multiple here also so based on this column names you have to also put this column index ok now we are going to use c3 and the same data table that we are getting from this here from in out tt employee data table and let me see ok so we have already disabled these codes and we are going to use using invoke code let me click on run file So, it is going to read this data from here and then it will apply ordinal here, it will change the column position and at the end it will write the data to C3. You can see here, first name, last name, phone number, email, address, then company name and role in company. So, I hope this is useful. If so, please like this video and please subscribe this channel and please share this with your friends. Thank you so much for watching this video.